I am going to show you the bronze statues of Guanche kings from Tenerife. The first one you see is Akaimo. Akaimo was a Guanche mense of Takaronte on the island of Tenerife at the time of the Spanish conquest in the 15th century. He allied himself against the Spanish conquerors and conquistadores with the mense Benearo and the mense Bencomo. Akaimo descended from the first mense of Takoronte, who was also named Rumen or Roman by Juan Nunez de la Peña. When the island was divided, which happened after the death of his father, Tinerfe the Great, in the late 14th century, Akaimo took over his father's territory. However, the scholar Juan Alvarez Delgado states that Aniaga is the parent of Akaimo, and the Akaimo's full name is Akaimo Daniaga. From Peña, Aniaga married a sister of Akaimo, the Guimar, and became, because of this, she gave another name to her son. Next one, statue of Atjona uh, or Atjonia was the Guanche Mensei king of the Menseyato, the Abona, at the time of conquest of Tenerife in the 15th century. Atjona lived in Villa Flor in the territory of Abona, although the historian Juan Betancourt Alfonso states that Mense residence was located near the mod mod modern town of El Rio, Arico. Atjona signed peace in 1490, the governor of Gran Canaria, Pedro de Vera, ratifying the agreement of Alonso Fernandez de Lugo in, 19, in, 14, sorry, in 1494, shortly after his first landing, attaching his Menseyato to the Bando de Pases peace party during the conquest. And after this event, Atjona was brought to Spain by Lugo to be presented to the Catholic monarchs, along with the rest of Menseyes. As a Mensei of the Bando de Pases, he returned to Tenerife and integrated into the new society. He died before 1507. The next one is Ania Terve. Ania Terve was the Guanche Mense king of Menseyato de Guimar at the time of the conquest of Tenerife in the 15th century. Ania Terve, a Berber, was the king of Guimar. The territory had an evangelizing mission since the mid 15th century. Ania Terve was the first Mense to join the peace pact with the, Euro with the Europeans. The peace agreement was signed with the governor of Gran Canaria, Pedro de Vera, in 1490, before being quickly ratified by, ratified by the Mense with Alonso Fernandez de Lugo in 1494, shortly after the first landing of the conquering army of Spaniards. He actively, the Mense of Guimar, actively collaborated with the conquerors, providing auxiliary troops and supplies throughout the campaign. After the conquest in 1496, Ania Terve was taken together with six other Menseyes to Spain by Alonso Fernandez de Lugo to be presented to the Catholic monarchs. He returned to Tenerife to live under Spanish rule. His later history is not known before dying in military action. Bencomo, you see here, Bencomo, 1438 to 1495, was the penultimate Mensei or king of Taoro, a Guanche Menseyato on the island of Tenerife. He fought in the first battle of Asentejo 
a victory for the Guanches against the invading Castilians after having refused the terms of Alonso Fernandez de Lugo. He may have died on the heights of San Roque during the Battle of Aguera alongside his brother Tinguaro. This brave man had several children, including Atrona, Tassil, Bentor, Ruiman, Rosalva, Chachiniama, and Tiniate. Bentor succeeded him, as men say, until his suicide in February 1495. The next one is Benearo. Benearo was a Guanche king of Menseyato de Anaga on Tenerife. Benearo made peace in 1492 with Lopez de Salazar, who had been sent by the governor of Gran Canaria, Francisco Maldonado. After a slave raid shortly after against the Guanches of Anaga, the Mensei withdrew his support or its support to the Europeans, although after the landing of Alonso Fernandez de Lugo renewed the peace with the Castilians. Pelicar was a Guanche Mensei king of Menseyato of Icode in the times of the conquest of Tenerife in the 15th century. Pelicar joined the king of Menseyato de Taoro, Bencomo, to repel the Spanish conquistadores invasion in 1494, including its Menseyato in war camps. However, some historians, as Vieira y Clavijo, state that Pelicar was not allied with Bencomo. Finally, after successive defeats and the loss of key Guanche kings, Bencomo, Tinguaro, and Bentor, the Mensei of Icode surrendered in 1496, subject to the conquerors in the act known as Paz de los Realejos. He was taken to the court of the Catholic monarchs by Alonso Fernandez de Lugo, together with six other Menseyes to be presented to the monarchs. In the court, Pericar was sold into slavery unfairly by the lawyer royal by the royal butler Pedro Patinio, who had been delivered to be his guardian, being released by royal command soon after. The ultimate fate of him is not known, and possibly he ended his days in Seville as a free man, but it is not sure. Elinor, who was a Guanche Mensei king of Menseyato de Adeje at the time of the Spanish conquest of Tenerife. Together with Menseyes of Abona and Guimar, Pelinor negotiated peace around 1490 with Pedro de Vera, governor of Gran Canaria, ratifying a treaty with Alonso Fernandez de Lugo at the beginning of the conquest in 1494. Once the war ended, Pelinor was the only Mensei not brought to the peninsula to be presented to the Catholic monarchs. As a Mensei who actively supported the conquerors in the peace negotiations, he was amply rewarded by the new authorities. He received the entire Valle de Masca, 30 acres of land with water on the Rio de Chasna, 
and another 100 acres in the Valle de Santiago, both pieces of land in the former domains of Adeje. His family was also granted a coat of arms. Pelinor died around 1505. <laughs> The next one is Roman, who was a Guanche Mense king of Meseyato de Daute in the time of the Spanish conquest of Tenerife in the 15th century. When Alonso Fernandez de Lugo arrived in 1494, Roman allied with Bencomo Mense against the Spanish invasion. Opinions differ, differ as far as this alliance is concerned among historians. But um, it is clear that after successive defeats, uh, uh, major of major Guanche kings like Bencomo, Tinguare, and Bentor, Roman gave his territory in the spring of 1496 in the act known as Paz de los Realejos. And after the surrender, Roman was brought to court to be presented to the Catholic monarchs. His end is not known, unknown, although having belonged to a band of war, and possibly, and if there is a possibility that he was reduced to slavery, it is also possible that also the Mense given to the Republic of Venice for the kings. And the last one is Tegeste. Tegeste was a Guanche king of. Mensayato de Tegeste, reigning during the conquest of Tenerife in the 15th century. In 1494, with the arrival of the conquerors to the control of Alonso Fernandez de Lugo, Tegeste allied with uh, Mensay Bencomo to reject and repel the invasion. He participated actively in the successive confrontations. The Mensay Tegeste took with him about 1,200 warriors to fight the Spanish conquerors. At the beginning of 1495, a group of Castilian soldiers made an assault to the lagoon in search of cattle. There, a Guanche woman informed them of the epidemic suffered by the Guanches. The conquistadores made a recognition for the valley of Tegeste, and they made with the cattle booty in the ravine of Tejina. When they returned to La Laguna, they were surrounded by Tegeste warriors and Sebensui warriors in the place known as Las Peñuelas, where the Spanish conquerors were defeated. Gonzalo de Castillo, who directed the Castilian soldiers, was imprisoned and sent by Tegeste to Bencomo of Tauro. In the spring of 1496, after the defeats of La Laguna and Asentejo and the loss of the principal Guanche kings Bencomo, Tinguaro, and Bentor, Tegeste finally surrendered its Mensayato to the Europeans in the act of submission known as Paz de los Realejos. That same year he was taken to the peninsula by the conquering captain along with um, another six Mensayas to be presented in the court of Catholic kings, monarchs. We don't have any further information about his fate. Some believe that he might have been made a slave. These statues of nine kings of Guanches are installed in Candelaria, Candelaria town on the seaside of the square of the Saint Patron of the Canary Islands and Basilica of Lady of Candelaria. Guanches were ruled by these nine kings. These bronze statues were uh, made by the sculptor Jose Abad, and uh, an inauguration of statues of these Guanche kings was held in 1993. Inhabitants of Tenerife greatly admired these nine kings, and these statues. These are wonderful pieces of work and art made by the sculptor Jose 
Abad.